And I'm Ben Bradley. We'll have more on that pharmacist in just a moment. But first, the return of the mask mandate comes amid a rise in COVID cases, especially among unvaccinated Chicagoans. WGN's Rob Sneed is live at City Hall this afternoon with when it takes effect. Rob. Good afternoon to you both. Now that mandate starts officially on Friday. It applies to bars, restaurants, and common areas. Right now, we're talking about uh, 200, 419 COVID positive cases per day in the city. Now, Dr. Arbery with the Chicago Department of Public Health said this rule includes those fully vaccinated against the virus. Uh, 200 cases per day was the threshold that triggered the current mask mandate recommendation. But now, cases are over 400 per day, which triggered Friday's indoor mask mandate. As as of August 12th, new cases are up by 21% compared to the previous week. That's an average of 419 new cases per day, as we mentioned before. 95% of those cases in Chicago are the Delta variant, according to already. Now, 296,678 total cases right now, uh, and 54.2% Chicagoans are fully vaccinated. Uh, in our peak in November, December, we were averaging about 2,500 cases a day, with some days getting up close to 3,500. So 400 cases per day is concerning. It's why we're acting. But in terms of where we've been as a city, it is not a cause for alarm. It is a cause for caution. Now, coming up on WGN News at 6, hear how this mandate could affect your child returning back to school. Reporting live at City Hall, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Okay.